So we just finished processing our evidence files and we can now begin our examination. Of course, you'd always want to check the hash values of your images to make sure they match the hash values that were given to you by the investigator in this case. Once you do that, the way I approached this assignment was to take a look, as before, at the email category. So if you go in the overview tab and you scroll down to emails, you can start reading some of the conversations between the individuals and you'll get an understanding of what is happening and you'll also be able to answer most of the questions for this assignment. You'll get details not only about what they're doing but you'll also be able to look at the attachments and although some of the attachments are encrypted you don't necessarily need to decrypt the files to answer all the questions for this lab. There's a particular question that asks you for a zip code and a couple others where uh, the index search function will come in very handy. Uh, you can go up here in this tab and select uh, some key terms that might be interesting um, and might be useful to answer some of the questions. So for example, I just had AIM in there, so you can add that term and I double clicked and this will return all the files on your image that have that key term and there's going to be quite a few. But anyway, here's the breakdown and you can go in and look at each single hit if you want to. You can search for zip. You can also use Boolean logic to do AND or OR operations on these search uh, terms. So that's been useful for me to find, for example, something related to the zip code question. Um, there's also a question that asks you for installation dates of certain programs. Um, you can find that information uh, typically in the Windows Registry Software Hive. However, another way to do it, if you explore the hard drive, and um, I'm going to go down to Root Documents settings. Administrator, take a look at the application data that um, they're asking you. For example, here's AIM and you'll see that there's some creation dates here and if we keep drilling down we can find out um, information about user accounts. So that should help you. Uh, also there's a question about uh, directions to a camping spot. You'll find that uh, information within the emails but you'll also find more information or more detailed information such as starting points and ending points uh, by using more traditional investigative techniques such as actually following leads within the messages that you're reading. Um, let's see here. Okay. Uh, in the first first lab we did, I kind of went over this already. And if you go into overview, we can go into the Windows registry and get some information um, on system user accounts. So let's go over there. I'm going to OS file system files. And Windows registry. And if you right click on SAN, I mean it'll open it up in here, but if you right click, you can also open this in Registry Viewer. It's down here. 
So we'll get in the registry viewer and find that a little bit easier to find the information I'm looking for. We can go into accounts and users and we can see all the usernames for this system. So if you're looking for someone in particular, um, you can see the type is 01F4. So you'd go up here for administrator at least. 01F4. And we're going to get some information here about this account. You can do it this way through the registry viewer, such as, you know, uh, log on counts or last time this account was used, that sort of information. Or you can just go directly in here and uh, look at the information that's contained here. So that should help you with that. Uh, one thing that maybe you might be wondering is the assignment requires you to use the FTK uh, report feature. 